All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for doing this. Uh, I, I know you guys have a busy schedule, but uh, what made you guys agree to do this? Now? Just exploring the sort of unknown and trying different things and and uh anyway uh just to inform you right this is supposed to be like the guide for the whole of malaysia to understand the budget of 2018 so it's a big responsibility oh wow there's a whole lot of people relying on us we gotta pull this off now okay anyway here's the like uh overview of uh what the budget looks like it's the whole big picture of what was mentioned and discussed you know it's like a small kind of presentation um want to know what your y'all think about it so it's awesome oh okay so why do you think so? Where they're able to capture all the information. Oh, you mean visually. Uh, thanks, Mark. Okay, anyway. But how about the budget itself? Uh, what do you think? Yeah, so, yeah, so like back, so we did the same thing. Ah, uh, all right. Thanks, Mark. Anyway, um, I want to know what do you think uh, if, if this budget can help the economy? What do you think? No, they, there was channels that uh, met channels and dots that connected other dots. True, true. Very true, Jeff. Um, but, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Each of the parts of the budget holds of its, its own, but uh, working together, it can help the growth of the uh, economy. Very good point about the dots connecting. I like that. Okay. You know what? Let's break it down to different, different categories. Um, let's look at the first category that I believe is very important. It's the youth and sports category. All right. Anyway, um, by the looks of it, they, 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 they want to spend a billion, they allocated a billion for Fit Malaysia National Sports Day plus National Football Development Programs which is a lot of money. Then there's 20 million for the Bukit Jalil Sports School and uh, to make it a premier school. So I don't know what they're going to do with 20 million. But, and, and then there's 112 million to build 40 new places. So um, don't you think like 1 billion is a bit excessive for this? For, for a lot of us, I think it's about pushing it to another place. You know? yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, to see improvement, you need to invest. I see what you're talking about, Chris. But uh, our future lies in the hands of this youth. Yeah, true. So hopefully this will be a good thing. I was hoping more for investment in when it comes to youth investment. I was hoping more for the, you know, integration and understanding between races rather than just football. But, you know, that's just me. Lor. Anyway, uh, let's hope they channel the money well instead of funnel the money wrongly. I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, so speaking about children, education is a very important point. So let's look at the education part about it. It's about 550 million ringgit allocated. And you know, each school is going to have their own little 50 million little uh, parts of it. Then 250 million for all national schools. But you know, uh, I, I like that they are trying to improve the um, the already religious schools and so on and so forth. That's that's very interesting because they want to improve the infrastructure since all the drama started this year and all the problems. I mean, everybody's uh, aware of that, right? Um, oh, wow, that works. Okay, uh, but here's, here's the thing, Chris. Um, what do you think about the discounts given to the PTPTN loans? You know, the people who don't want to pay back their loans. Uh, as, I mean, like, you think about it, the loans are ready, you should pay, pay back. It's a loan. Uh, people are defaulting, but they, they're going to give a 20% discount if you do full payment. Then it's going to be a 10% discount if you do 50% upfront, or you say, I'm going to deduct for my thing. What do you think? But you never know at the time. You're yeah. just kind of rolling the dice. Oh, okay, man. I'll, I guess I'll, I'll take your word for it. Uh, let's look at another category. We're looking at rural development because it's very important. It's like growing the... We are the urban... You know, urbanites, we don't realize that certain basic amenities are not accessible to some people who are in the rural area. So um, I'm glad that the rural area is getting focused. But do you think this is a step towards their plan of Transformasi National 50, you know, the TN50 thing? What you're seeing now is the beginning of that. I guess so, Ma. Yeah, okay. Um, let's look at employment. Everybody likes that, you know. I, I think this is a very interesting thing. What's, what's your thoughts, guys? Not in any clunky way. They're flexible. Um, I agree. It's, I, I, a lot of people are going to like the flexible working hours from like 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. because that's what people want. And flexibility is the very important thing, like flexible benefits they're going to have as well, uh, where you can exchange your leave for cash flow. But 
But uh, what what I like is the the whole thing for pregnant women. They're gonna get, uh, have more focus for them, and then people who give birth, they're gonna have ninety days instead of sixty days, which is very important. And I heard that also they are gonna implement the rule where any new offices built in KL, they're gonna start in KL, but they want to try the whole uh, of Malaysia. But any new offices built, they have to have a child care center for any employees to bring the children and take care. So what do you think? It's really fun. I, I, I like it. Glad you like it, Jeff. Okay, um, speaking about easing costs on people, uh, purchasing power, that's another big thing that is going on where, you know, the, they're going to have subsidiaries for people. Uh, they're, they're looking at 3.9 billion uh, subsidies for gas, flour, cooking oil, electricity. And the uh, most interesting thing is the tolls. It was, it was cool. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it, it, it is, it is, it is cool. Because um, they are planning to abolish a few tolls. Um, the, it's here in the stats. You just look at it. A few tolls are going to be abolished first January 2018. So, what's your thoughts on this? I was happy to come along. Cool, cool. Now, honestly, do you think the budget was put in place like this with the fact in mind that elections is coming up like next year? So, you know, um, it's trying to win votes from different races. What, what we, what color we are has very little to do with who we are as people. And so that's the thing that I just concentrated are all in it together. All right, Tessa. Um, Tom, how about you? But they already had decided they were going to shake it up a bit and that it was going to be kind of out there. And I loved it. Okay, so uh, last thoughts about uh, the budget this year compared to last year. Any difference? Um... But it had, beyond that, it was sort of been pretty much the same. It sort of changed sizes over the years. You know, make it a little more this, a little more that. And, yeah. um, Good point. The budget's slightly bigger this year. There's a few more billion to spend, so that's cool. We wanted to break the forms, you know. We wanted to break all the norms, kind of break the rules. So do you think this will help the economy? You know, the, I think experimenting and, and taking risks is where the special parts of it all happen. Oh, okay. All right, Chris. Okay. Uh, once again, Guys, thank you so much for helping me do this. Hopefully this helps explain it to everybody. Cool, man. Yeah. Hey, do it again. <laughs> we did that in 10 minutes. Oh, wow. That worked.